for summer is for falling in love. Good morning, y'all. We're about to go out. As you can see, I'm like dressed up. I've never worn this outfit before. Actually, I've never worn this vest since Max got it for me on that challenge. I'm a bad husband, but I haven't been able to like style it until I got these pants. And I've never had like cream pants before. And I'm digging it, I think. <laughs> Where did you like? Do you like it? We just received this package from like this Korean, I don't know if they're a restaurant or a supermarket, but they do like meal prep for like a whole week and they do all Korean dishes. So that's what we did. We ordered a week's worth of Korean food and that's what we're gonna be eating all week. Isn't that exciting? What is that? I don't know. The only issue here though, is that I don't know what anything is or how to cook them. And the instructions they gave us are on Korean. So that'll be a fun challenge to um, figure out. V vegetables. M meat. Not sure what kind. <gasps> oh, poor Billy, guys. <gasps> oh my god. And uh, kimchi. Oh my god. Kimchi stew. Kimchi chige, right? This week is headed off to um, a great start. So there we go. Korean meal prep. Do we have to fridge this or freeze it? How is this? It's not gonna fit. I'm gonna wait for Max to deal with that. Oh, another really cool news. Basically, since I've moved to Montreal, I've been manifesting an Indonesian friend. I've never met anyone Indonesian here. Well, my wish came true in the form of a lady, her name is Marissa, and she's Indonesian, but she grew up here. We're gonna go hang out with her today. She knows like all the best spots in the city, so I'm really excited for her to show me around because like I've been craving a woman's touch. I feel like Converse go with everything, and I'm low-key like wanting to buy more colors. When I like something, I'll just buy it in every color. I think it's just an Aquarius thing. Here comes the whore. I look like I stole an outfit from like a polo match locker room. We could drive along an ocean reflecting the sun or make a bed of green. Hey y'all, we are having lunch with our new friend Marissa. She's also in Indonesian. So if you want to say hi to her, hit her up on Instagram. Wow. Salama. <laughs> Salamat Yang, we had a very late start, but we're here and we're eating. Say it in Indo now. Kita, Makan, Beauty. These are three different vibes. This is the elementary school lunch. This is the over 21 lunch. And this one is the work girl lunch. Until the sun sets past day. And the cotton candy haze mirrors the warmth of your gaze. So there's this street in Montreal called Rue Saint Laurent, which houses a bunch of great thrift stores, and being the thrifting hoe that we are, decided to stop by. This first store is called Off the Hook, and it isn't a thrift store, but they had this fun t-shirt of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which I tried to convince Max to buy, but he wouldn't. They had a good mix of popular and independent streetwear brands. I honestly would have stayed longer, but they blast their music so loud, so we left but I got myself a candle. Marissa is taking me around thrift shopping today because I've never thrift, I've never really thrift shopped in Montreal and now that I have an OG Montrealer, she's gonna show me around. What's it called again? Uh, La Caravane. Oh, that's how you say it, like yeah. professional. Like the professional Quebecois. They had a great selection of vintage thrifts that are curated. The price is a bit on the higher side with t-shirts ranging from $25 to $40. I found a couple of good ones, but not any that I would want for the price. You wanna be a country boy? No, I am a country boy. <laughs> Though I picked up one t-shirt from the sale rack for like 15 bucks. Yellow lights up your complexion. You want it? I'm good, thank you. The third store is Kilo Fripe. Freep. Kilo Fries Vintage, and this is more of the type of store that I love because it had an awesome selection to sit through with fair prices and fun pieces. Hey babe, you want a fur jacket? 
Yes. Do you want to see me in a sailor outfit? Uh, it's not one of my fantasy, but I'll do the army one. Do you want me to be a sailor? <laughs> it's okay. It's not one of my fantasy. So what is your fantasy? You can be Elsa, wear that dress. You want me to cosplay the most random things? A minute after he turned down my fantasy, he handed me these two jumpsuits to try on, so I forgave him. Max found these for me. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So cute. This first jumpsuit fit like a freaking glove. The cut was flattering, the fit was perfect. It's literally the jumpsuit of my dreams. Not that I dream about jumpsuits. I don't want to go to prison. Want to try the other one? Yeah, I'll try. Hey, close the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, fashion. The second option was more of a traditional cut with baggy pants. I adored the color and the fit on top, but in the end, I chose the black one. But looking at these clips now, I may go back to get the other one too. We ended the night with drinks at Time Out Market at Eaton Center downtown because I just love overpriced cocktails in kawaii glasses. This ended up being such a good day and a really good way to wrap up the summer. Ready? It's time pork belly. Pork mm. belly. Have you ever had Korean barbecue at home before? Korean barbecue, no, first time. Yeah, me too. In French, we have what we call an raclette, mm. which means basically you grilled meat and uh, bread and cheese and stuff like that. And those meat cuts are so nice, right? Fat and juicy. Like Fat meat. and juicy. That's the way you like it. This Korean barbecue meal was part of the meal plan from the service that we ordered. The portion is absolutely massive. We pretty much only ate half of all the meals they prepped, so we were able to stretch the food for more than a week, and we are not dainty eaters. We eat like a dump truck at 3 in the morning backing up behind of your apartment building. So it's safe to say this meal plan was totally worth it. You know what pork belly is in Korean? Samgyeopsal. Samgyeopsal. Salangye samgyeopsal. <laughs> so I want to show you guys everything I bought the other day with Marissa. Brutus, stop breathing so fucking loud. What the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, well the first thing I bought was a t-shirt, but I can't find it anywhere, so it's probably stolen. It's okay, it was not that nice. No, it was cute. <laughs> You're mean. You didn't like it? Did your thrift store t-shirt? No, I did not like it. Did you like this one on me? Yeah, the one was cute. But it's pretty much the same thing that what you were all day also shopping. Mm -hmm. I'm sad. No, I'm sorry. Don't be sad. I'm sorry. Ooh la la, it's basically the outfit you wore yesterday. <laughs> Isn't it cute though? <laughs> yeah. Well, I like that better with sleeves. I give this piece, it's good material. I give this a seven or eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Marissa picked out this jacket for you, right? Mm -hmm. I'll try with the full outfit I envisioned it with. Be right back! I cannot wait to wear this outfit. Like, I imagine myself just going out to a fun dinner where the weather is like not too hot, not too cold, so I can get away with a sweater and exposing my, my slutty arms. Ta-da! Now the star of the show is a jacket, but I feel it goes well with that outfit in general. It looks so good. Oh my god, look at your chest, look at your pants. I love it. I want to sit on it. You can sit on it. <laughs> Next thing we bought, Max picked out. The full suit for you. This is like prison vibes. So that's the jumpsuit, and I love it. And what occasion do you think you're gonna wear this? A dinner, a children's birthday party, <laughs> um, an orgy. I also bought this top for Max. And I'll be honest, like I bought it because I kind of want to borrow it as well because it's super cute. On me, it looks really baggy. On Max, it looks really nice and tight. Who's a big boy? I'm a big boy. Let's try this on you. This is my favorite thing that I bought for you. Dude. 
<laughs> Stop. No one can see. <laughs> it's mine. My hair. I know. It looks so good, babe. It's like sporty, but like formal at the same time. Matches your eye, the blue. Tell them why you're breathing heavy. Before the scene, I had to do some push-ups so that my boobs look big. Because Yas insisted for a shirtless scene. No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't want anyone to see mm -hmm. mine. <laughs> My men boobs. Moves. Them. Them. Them, but you were picking your nose. Them. Them. Mm -hmm. And this this top actually looks really cute on me too, right? You look cute on me. Yeah, I meant this top. This but top. me? I look <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go make babies. Mm. Bye first. Ah. Ah. I got so much. <laughs> wow.